Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do stroke by stroke right on text inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. If you don't already know, in the Fusion tab you can add in a bunch of nodes in order to create different effects inside of DaVinci Resolve now. Um, so for instance, we can add in a new text plus node, and behind that we can add a mask paint which allows us to temporarily mask parts of the title in order to create the appearance of a stroke by stroke write on effect. Um, now in this particular node setup, I have the media in over here and the media out. Those two are by default, but I also add in the merge node over here so that we can combine this text node as something that only exists inside of the fusion editor. It's not actually part of the edit tab, but we add the text plus in here. So this yellow line for media in represents the background and then that gets fed into this merge node and the text one is the background indicated by the green line over here. And then behind the text, we have an alpha link where the mask paint determines which parts of the title are actually seeable at any point in time. And then after it merges those two together, we get the final media output. So whenever you create a mask paint node, which you can create by going right click, add tool, and then down here we have mask, so mask paint, you'll get the ability to use these brush tools in order to start adding strokes to your screen. And now for right now to make it a little easier to see where those strokes are occurring, I have it inverted in the inspector over here. So if you click on mask paint, and you go over here to this second tab, the mask tab, there's a checkbox here for invert. And what that allows you to do is see the text element in this preview window over here. And what inverting it will do is make sure that nothing is masked out by default. And then when you add strokes, that's going to mask it out temporarily. Now that's the opposite of what it's gonna look like in the final effect. But the reason I do that is so that if we have the text one displaying over here in this preview window, we can see the entire title while we're trying to stroke it. Now, if you click on mask paint and you go over to the modifiers tab, you can see a bunch of strokes I've created. So each of these strokes are individual elements of the overall mask paint. And we can apply those at any point in the timeline or in the clip for the timeline, uh, indicated by these left endpoints, by the gold and then the right endpoint over there. The frames for those strokes can be created anywhere inside of here. Uh, so right now it looks a little bit like this. So you'll see over here on the left, it's actually stroking from left to right. And it's doing those uh, based on these strokes that I've created. Obviously it's going very slow frame by frame more or less. So it's much slower in the preview window than it is in the final render, of course, since this is a pretty intensive effect. And so you should get the idea here. Uh, obviously if you create more accurate strokes over here, you'll get better results. Um, so one more thing you need to know, if you go over here to the first tab, which is called controls, and you scroll down here, there'll be something called stroke controls. You're going to make sure that's set to right on before you actually start creating the strokes. And the reason for that is so that it will be an animation of basically where you start drawing with your brush to where you end drawing with your brush. And then that will be the stroke. So if you want to stroke from left to right, you start brushing from left to right. So, so that we can redo the steps, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these strokes here one at a time. You can also left click them and hit the delete key, which goes a little faster. If you delete the last stroke though, it basically removes the uh, mask altogether. So to be added in, we'll have to hit the stroke icon up here uh, once again. And once we've done that, we can now start drawing on strokes. But uh, some settings that might be valuable for you. If you expand these categories and you go to brush controls, you might want to increase the size of the brush so that when you actually do the stroke, it's big enough for the text itself. Also, in this case, I don't want any softness in my strokes. I just want it to be a hard draw. You can also choose different brush strokes. So for instance, I can go over here to square. Uh, which doesn't even have any uh, softness to begin with and just increase the size to where we need it so something like that and then we go navigate to the point in this timeline where we want to actually start drawing on the strokes now remember this is in reverse so 
it's going to look like we're making it disappear, but then we're going to undo the inversion so that it will be drawing on in the final product rather than drawing off. Oh, and one final thing before we actually start stroking, make sure that it, with these nodes down here that you have the text one, the text plus element, uh, set to the right preview window and the mask paint set to the left preview window. That's what these little dots are for. So now we have the right point in the timeline. We can actually just start drawing this stroke. So I'm going to draw from left to right okay and it looks like i forgot one more thing i forgot to change stroke animation to right on when you delete all of your strokes all of these modifiers kind of reset so be careful about that so let's redo that one more time so with right on enabled stroking from left to right so if we hit space to play it back you should see the stroke take place here now, because it's processing it live, you're going to notice that it's going very, very slowly, like one frame a second. So don't worry too much about that. It's the final result that matters. Um, now, one more thing. If you do find that the text is writing on too slow, you can change the duration. So this can go as low as 0.5, and I believe that's measured in seconds. So if I change this to 0.5 for my next stroke, we'll just do it here, and we'll stroke down. Maybe I increase the brush size a little bit just to give us a little bit of leeway here. And I'm gonna stroke down here. Okay, so now for the rest of the strokes, I'm going to find the place in the timeline where I want the stroke to start. Make sure right on is enabled and duration set to whatever you want it to be. And I'm gonna start drawing down here. Obviously the straighter the better, so that should create a new animation. And as you can see, it does take place over a few frames. So let's add some more strokes where we want them to go. And maybe we come over here and we'll add this stroke in. Come over here, add this stroke in. Then we'll keep working on the rest of the strokes for this title. Okay, so just to point out, there are other tools here, like uh, the polyline stroke tool. If you wanna play around with that, you can actually have it create straight lines for you uh, if you'd rather not freehand it. But that's basically the gist of how you actually do a stroke on text effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. And so that's going to be it for this video on how to do stroke by stroke write on effects inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.